excited I came to the Cadillac LaSalle Club meeting in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a 1960 park, I, I almost said park lane, I'm so overwhelmed. A 1960 Colony Park station wagon by Mercury. Okay, we're gonna start by feasting our senses on just the divine divinity of it just sitting there. I mean, there are so many details and so many delights of this car. I mean, first, the most obvious delight and detail of this car is that it has the fake wood paneling. Isn't that beautiful? I know, look at these hash marks right there. That gorgeous door handle, that little bit of trim right there. Oh, look, the original window sticker. $4,501.50 for this. Oh, look at the back end. Wait till you see this. Oh, it says it right there. Colony Park. Oh, you'll never recuperate. You never see these. This has to be one of the finest examples in the planet, on the planet. And don't you love the vanilla roof? Look at that. Not to mention those tail lights. But let's just get a good look at the sweeping side styling of this magnificent motor car. Rare, rare, rare to find one. Always love these kind of exclamation point tail lights. Look at the detail here. There he is. That's Mercury himself. A little stars for your pleasure and mine. A little sneak into the interior. Whoa, it's a nine passenger. And this little detail right here. It's like a musical instrument waiting to happen. And the ribs on the roof. And look at how glorious it looks in the glow of the sunlight. I know. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. That is exciting right there. And that the wood trim again. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at this front end. Very 1960. Very outer limits, very space age. Let's look at the little Mercury crest and the little Mercury man is in there. Come on, iPhone, focus. Those are fender ornaments. The wide set headlights in this sweeping grill of stainless. There they are. Again, this little bit of artwork for your pleasure in case you forget what kind of a car it is. M-E-R-C-U-R-Y, Mercury. Wow, wow and everything else. And that glorious, beautiful root beer color, which you just do not see. Well, you never see these at all. They're rare in any body style. Okay, we're going in. Spectacular interior. Nine passenger, love the bows on the headliner. Well, this has to be one of the finest examples of this particular car on earth. Look at these door panels. They've got a lot of detail on them. They've got mercury embossed in the vinyl. These little bit of details there. I love the little seat garnish molding and that steering wheel in pristine, perfect position of upright divine perfection. The instrument cluster on this car is very underrated, basically unknown, unseen, because nobody ever sees these cars. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. The M in the middle, it just says Mercury. Over here, again, another view. The radio up and down like a Corvette across the front of the glove box, all that stainless. It says Mercury over there, the clock. I know I love the shape of the door panels, but we already talked about that. The mirror, oh, I know. Yeah, you guys, feast your senses because you just do not see these cars. And not to mention when you roll down all the windows, you guys, there is no pillar. This is a very, one of very few station wagons ever produced without a pillar between the front and the back windows. Can you believe it? I know. 
Again, we're going to review the sweeping side styling of this car. Oh, look at how that wood trim goes whoosh right down there. Again, those hash marks, absolutely spectacular in every way, every day. We didn't look at the wheel covers. We've got to do that right now. There he is again, Mercury and the Shield. I bought the car back in 1995 in Denver. Kind of a little bit of a wreck, but we got her back to her former glory. So, and as you can tell, it starts off with a 1960 New Mexico safety inspection. And as Charles has already pointed out, the, the, um, the window sticker, the car was sold new at Kumpf Motors in Denver. Ergo, that's why it doesn't have air conditioning. But pretty fairly optioned car. It's got the 430. And Should we look just, under the hood? We can if you like. By the way, you guys, look at the way the two-tone wraps at the front yeah, of the, the roof line. The style tone, you could get it from the dealer or order it from the factory for $77. Unbelievable. That was a $77 option. Big 430 alert. Here it is. Wow, it matches the car too. Right? And that's, I know. that's the color. And the M right there. And look at that, you guys. Mercury windshield washer reservoir. Do you say reservoir or reservoir? Oh. It depends upon where you're from. It, it does. If you're from Louisiana, you say reservoir. Reservoir. Are you ready to go for a little spin? Shall we? Yes. Okay. exactly the same as the colony park that I had 30 plus years ago. What a pleasure to drive such a rare car. It's a very solid feeling car. The steering is very solid. The suspension feels very solid. It's a very smooth, I mean, it's a luxury car, you guys. So it's a very smooth and powerful acceleration. Uh, the braking feels very solid. I mean, you don't even hardly feel the transmission shift at all. It also has an amazing sound. And you know, every car kind of has its own unique, you know, vibration, even if it's just a very slight vibration of just everything going down the road. And it reminds me exactly of the car that I had. And just having this moment with this instrument cluster and everything, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much for letting me drive your car. Oh, you're quite welcome. I really love it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the spirit. Fill in the spirit. Behold the glory.